Flows of energy and matter. Producers receive free energy from the sun and matter from the earth, air, and water. Producers emit heat and oxygen back into the air. The net effect of taking in low entropy energy and emitting high entropy energy lowers their entropy. That allows them to grow and store free energy in the form of glucose. Producers also receive essential chemicals from the earth, which plants and trees get from water absorbed by their roots. Consumers receive free energy and matter from consuming other organisms, as well as from air and water. The matter and energy they receive from other organisms is called food. The net effect of taking in low entropy energy and emitting high entropy energy lowers their entropy and allows them to grow and store free energy. To a much lesser extent than producers, consumers receive matter from the earth, i.e. salt and other minerals. They also receive oxygen from the air and emit carbon dioxide, the reverse of the producer's process. Food contains a combination of matter and low entropy energy. Consumers all depend on food. Food carries the atoms, molecules, and compounds needed for life along with the needed free energy. The atoms, molecules, and compounds are recycled in the biosphere. The low entropy energy cannot be recycled. The biosphere requires a constant input of free energy from the sun. A food chain diagram shows a simple relationship between the animals that eat each other. Arrows show the direction of the flow of energy and matter. Producers capture light energy, which moves energy into the cells of each consumer where metabolic reactions move energy from molecule to molecule. Energy is transformed as it moves through ecosystems. Relationships are usually more complex as animals eat more than one food. This requires a food web. Food chains show how matter and energy flows. Here, the yellow arrow shows low entropy energy from sunlight. The green arrows show food, usable energy, and matter. Red arrows show high entropy unusable heat, and the total heat radiated into outer space is infrared. Energy and nutrients flow together as indicated by the green arrows. Note how the flow branches with each organism up to the top consumer, the hawk. The yellow and red arrows indicate energy flows only. The incoming solar energy in yellow and the outgoing heat energy in red. The net effect is that low entropy energy from the sun fuels the biosphere and is then radiated into space as high entropy infrared radiation.